what is happening guys welcome back to armor core 6 so we have a new mod that came out well it's kind of been out there for a while but i just found out about it the other day thanks to one of my comments and one of my other videos so it's called ex arena or arena ex basically it's a mod on nexus that is going to allow us to have new competitors in the arena basically you know modders made their own mods and and put new mechs into the game in the arena so and it's they're adding to it too so it's pretty cool so i'm going to show you today how to install that mod if you go over to nexus i'll just have the page right here search up armored core and then scroll down on the popular all time i'll actually put the link for this in the description of this video too uh, you can just go to arena ex go ahead and download that mod and that will download to your downloads folder extract that using whatever extracting software you use and then once you do that all you have to do is this is really easy to the mod is pre-configured so i actually extracted it to my desktop so if you pull up that folder right there in the arena ex arena ex 102 all you have to do is click launch mod now you're probably wondering are you going to get banned in steam the answer to that is no. Uh, this mod is actually pre-configured to launch on uh, to launch offline and to turn off cheat engine. So you don't get you won't lose any progress. You won't uh, get you won't get banned from Steam. It's all safe. And also too, you can also just to be safe, back up everything from Armor Core just to be safe. Your your save file, back all that up. If you want to know how to do that, you can easily just go into your roaming files. So if you go into your main folder and then app data and then roaming, all your game saves are going to be in there. Generally speaking, Armor Core 6 is right there. You know, Elden Ring right there. If you go into Armor Core 6 and that number right there, the SL2, this one right here, that is going to be your save file. So if you want to back up your save file, you can do that as well. All right, but uh, that is all there is to it, though. I'm in a like I said, this mod is super easy. The only thing you have to do is make sure Steam is open. Make sure Steam is open when you launch the game. And other than that, it works pretty great. Uh, all you, like I said, just all you have to do is open up that folder and launch it from there. So we're going to go through the arena today and actually knock out all the challengers and see if we can knock them out. Hopefully nothing too crazy in there. Actually, actually, give me a challenge. I have a lot of, mo I have a lot of uh, mechs to be able to bring out, so I hope it's a challenge. But yeah, let's get into this. All right, we're in the game. So the game actually looks exactly the same. They just added in the arena, Arena EX. So it's pretty cool. They added a whole bunch of new challengers. And the cool thing is about this is they're ongoingly putting new mechs in here and continuously updating the app. So I'm guessing this is going to, you know, they're going to put more in here and there's going to be more challenges. I was really hoping too that they later on add a boss rush mode. If the modders watch this, please consider adding like a boss rush mode. I would love to be able to just go through and fight bosses of the games and not have to go through the levels. That'd be really, really cool to do. So just to put that out there, if the modders are watching, looking at this video, it's an idea for you. Just make a boss rush mode. <laughs> I mean, I think people might even pay for that even. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, go through these. So the cool thing about this too is they actually typed up a story for all their competitors. So we're actually gonna go through that too, just to be, you know, good with the lore, give the lore the respect it deserves. Uh, disgraced member of the Rubiconian AC Boxing League. Okay. After a long series of defeats, Kenton took to corporate sponsors to cover their repair costs. This led to the loss of what few fans they had, who also believed in the underdog's potential. Built for hand-to-hand -hand combat, Windup is all suited for battle outside the ring, relying only on its fists, kicks, and pile bunker. Painted red in the honor of ancient sport it imitates. So it's only a, you know, a melee mech <laughs> with a pile bunker. Um, okay, so I guess, uh, I'm not sure, let's use Alpha 1. I mean, we'll, we're gonna kick the thing's ass, but, uh, I mean, we're just gonna, <laughs> think we're gonna do that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have made a mech that just fought him hand-to-hand -hand combat, I guess that would have been more fun to watch, but I didn't really think about that. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Yeah, so it's only a pile bunker, it looks like, on this dude. Interesting wind up i like the name very rustic looking your ad here because of boxing i like that very creative Main system. well i'll only on. how about this i only use my laser lance because <laughs> otherwise we're going to just destroy him and tear him apart oh man i could have punished him so bad there man 
Oh, come on. You gotta get a hit on me, man. You gotta get a hit on me. Oh, come on. You don't want to... You don't want to waste your pile bunker on the train. Come on. I can't, like, let you do it. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm letting him try to get me some hits on here. Alright, fine. You're dead. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> I'll make you dead, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was kind of a meme, but that's cool. 50 EX. I wonder what the e the 50 means. Like, are they counting down? Like, they're counting up. Let's find out. If they're counting up... Okay, so they're counting down. So interesting. So if they add more, they're going to be 40, 40, 39, 38. Interesting. It's interesting why they did it that way. Because what happens when they get the one? Are they not going to update this anymore? Hmm. All right. Well, uh, Harl Grand, AC Grativas, an independent pilot with very few wins on record. While most pilots' few, uh, failures can be attributed to unexpected circumstances, overconfidence or plain lack of skill, Harl's losses are almost exclusively dictated by his love for theatrics in the heart of combat, in the heat of combat. He will intentionally overlook precious openings for the sake of dramatic timing. A proper Coupe de Grasse, for instance, must be preceded by a monologue of 45 seconds at the least. Okay, that's really hilarious. Um, I'm thinking like we should like randomize our mech. Like I'm thinking like scroll through these and just like, ra like close my eyes and just randomly pick one. All right, let's uh, do that. Let's just go through and... All right, what do we get? Loaded Thrust Viper. Okay, Thrust Viper. That's a pretty fun mech. Yeah, I think that's going to be a really fun way to do this. Okay, so he's got a pulse blade, a shotgun, plasma, or no, pulse, pulse cannon on the left? Is that pulse shield cannon or, and then uh, just a regular missile, uh, plasma missile launcher on the right. Okay. Main system, activating combat mode. What do we have? I mean, we have, <laughs> it's been a while since I've used Thrust Viper. Is this my Aurora one or is this my, oh no, I remember this one. I remember this one. Yes, I remember this mech. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked though. He's playing the distance game, that's for sure. Ooh. Can't get him with the whip. Oh, nice! We got him with the whip. That was a good match. All right, Gravitas. I like how they have new emblems too. We get to acquire these as we go through this. I hope they put a boss rush mode in this. Or at least somebody on Nexus does. I'm surprised there's not one out there yet. Alright, Arena EX. We got next. Next is Comic AC Carnival. An independent mercenary currently working for the Rubicon Liberation Front. A cynical and dry pilot, Comic finds little joy in her line of work. Her dream is to create her own traveling circus, bringing all inspiring wonders across the stars. Unfortunately, her disentrance in combat, disentrance in combat skills has kept her from large payouts that would require her AC's particular setup mirrors that a lot of ringmaster a wealth of a wreath of flames, a crack of whip and a host of a bright light turns opponents into a dazzling attraction. Interesting. All right, let's uh, run the roulette and see who we get to use. <laughs> I mean, I have three things to go through here, so we're going to take turns going through these, but we're going to get some in the first column. And 
All right, who do we get? Exo Surge. Okay. Exo Surge is really fast. He doesn't do much. Well, I guess he does do pretty good damage too. Actually, he has two laser cannons. We gotta watch out for the whip. Looks like a fire. Oh, flamethrower too. We gotta watch out for that. Actually, this build could work real well for this. Bubble cannon on the left back. Hmm. Main system activating combat mode. All right, let's see what we got. Oh shit, my lock on would work. Oh man, we destroyed that. The thing didn't stand a chance against Exosurge. Okay then. <laughs> Carnival. I wonder if the emblems save over on my regular save. Alright, next up is Zero. An underground musician turned warrior for the Rubicon Liberation Front. Zero sang of hope, love, and perseverance in the face of adversity when corporate record labels co-opted his songs and began to profit from them instead. Zero laid down the pen and took up the sword. His rock ballads fusing hip-hop and electronic synths carry the Rubicon Liberation Front through the hardest hardship heart or Hard, harshest of battles. <laughs> now he sings for the Coral and Liberation. Interesting. Alright. Run the roulette. Who do I use? Ooh, Buster. Alright. I think Buster's going to absolutely destroy him, but... All right, what do we got? This a uh, bunch of missile launchers, it looks like. Uh, and just kinetic weapons? Kind of boring, to be honest. Nothing too crazy here. Hybrid theory? Hmm. Main system. Activating combat mode. All right, Buster, you're going to have fun with this. It's time to eat. Oh man, Buster just totally ran the floor. Ooh, got staggered there even. Aw, oh. didn't really put up a fight, but he did give me staggered at least once. Sorry, Zero. Go back to music making. Alright, Ranged Sinclair, AC Logjam. A recently arrived independent mercenary of mercenary of Rubicon, Ranged Sinclair purchased her AC. Oh, it's female. Her AC from a falling Constr failing construction company with the hopes of fitting it for mercenary work. However, after securing transit to Rubicon and repairing her AC, she can no longer afford to replace the systems it came with. Desperate to make a new name for herself, Sinclair has been advertising herself as the park ranger of the Rubiconian frontier. It's unclear if this is just a marketing strategy or if she's starting to believe in herself. Hmm. Looks like another very basic mech with a pile bunker, and yeah, hmm, okay. Let's uh, go through user two and grab some of these mechs, Just have some of these out for fun. Oh, Shadow Onyx. Oh, I haven't used this mech in forever. What, what does this one have? Laser Lance, a Harris or a Curtis? It might be, I think it's a Harris. Uh, and Laser Cannon and Songbirds, all right.
Sinclair. Ooh, chainsaw. Definitely a construction mech. What's on the back right? Is that just a normal missile launcher? Aerial? Yep, aerial missile launcher, pile bunker, and a... Ooh, a stun needle. Or a needle gun. Don't see those very often. Log jam. Gotta watch out for the stagger on the needle gun. Main system. Activating combat mode. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Yeah, our combo is good. Oh, she didn't fall for the for the whole combo again. I feel kind of bad I'm punishing her. Oh, she's dead. Oh, let me finish the combo. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Sinclair. You gotta put more money into your mech, though. Construction job isn't gonna do it. Okay, I... Uh II AC 13 times. This industrious bandit is a rather wealthy, inexperienced pilot, granted access to the arena by the size of his wallet. Once an influential coral baron, his stat status was tainted when he was caught buying Ibis series parts with the hopes of building his own custom Ibis AC. It appears his wishes have been granted, but time will tell what to what end. Ooh, an Ibis series. This could this could be difficult. Um, let's just continue to be random, though, to make it more fun. I do have an Ibis series, too, but it's actually in this category, so I'm actually not going to be able to use that. Actually, I have a couple Ibis series, but it's not going to be in user 2, so I'm not going to be able to do Ibis against Ibis here. Shadow Hunt. Oh, I'm going to get my ass kicked. Shadow Hunt is a fast mech, but he does not. I mean... We have a 360... Uh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be real interesting. This is not a design for taking out an Ibis, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Definitely got a redshift, uh, an oscillator. Oh my gosh, we're going to get our ass kicked. <laughs> oh, redshift KRS V. Oh man. Yep, we are going to get our ass hand it to us 13 times is he gonna hand us hand us our ass 13 times <laughs> oh man this is this is not gonna be ideal what a dumb arena too to be in this arena sucks actually we can probably use the buildings to block them oh that oscillator hurts Dude, did I do all, all that damage? He didn't stand a chance against... Oh. Get away from that oscillator. He's gonna do the oscillator again, probably. <laughs> He wasn't bad, actually. Definitely an inexperienced pilot, like they said he was. He just had money. He just didn't know how to how to work an Ibis series. He had the money to build one, but he just didn't have the skill to fly one. Apparently, is there an emblem even there? Is it super dark? I think there is an emblem there, <laughs> but it's just really hard to see. It's like super small or something. Hustler Red, AC Bli uh, By Bylard 7, a member of one of the Dozer factions present on Rubicon. Hustler Red is often found added on Coral, believing himself to be the descendant of legendary pilots of the past. Few entertain his stories in this sorry state. 
Possessed of uncanny luck, the pilot has survived many a situation some thought of impossible to escape. Hustler Red plays this off as proof of his true skill as a pilot, but luck can't last forever. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got here going on. Ooh, Warhead. Okay. Warhead is a missile mech, a missile boat. Tetrapod missile boat, but nonetheless, it is a missile boat. What do we got here? We have a dagger, laser dagger, pulse gun, pulse cannon in the back. And what kind of missile? Double missile plasma missile launcher? Liz Byler Billy Oh Billiard. Oh he plays pool. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Billiard. It's a pool System reference. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a Harris on this build. That's gonna come in handy. Yeah, the Songbird, I think, needs to be exchanged on this build for something else. It's too slow of a fire rate. If you're close enough, it works, but... Direct hit. Nice. He almost got us, though. Yeah, if the Songbirds had a little bit faster velocity, I think they'd be a lot better weapon. But the impact is so good, maybe they'd be OP at that point. It'd still be fun to see, though. All right, Landolf, AC warrior, an independent mercenary who traveled to Rubicon hoping to join the Red Guns, the Balaam Group's AC squad. Lacking skill and experience as a pilot, Landolf attempted to distinguish himself through the use of expensive cutting-edge AC parts, taking on a great deal of debt. Unfortunately for him, the Red Guns had no use for an impotent, incompetent fool and rejected his application. Dejected, Landfall found himself forced to undertake dangerous mercenary jobs to pay back his debt, his debtors. And hmm, okay. Let's find out what we're gonna use. Oh, yellow jacket. Ooh, this is a fun mech. We got, ooh, stun needle launcher. Oh, pile bunker, stun needle launcher. Oh gosh, Gatling gun. This thing looks tanked up the wazoo. Oh, songbirds we gotta watch out for. There's a lot we gotta watch out for here. At least we have speed on our hands. This is a very fast mech. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, we got him. Whew, that was close, though. That was a very close match. 114. Damn. I almost didn't walk away with the win there. That came awfully close. Good match, though. And wise Tau Cutter. AC Bunker Sepetish? I have no idea even how to say that. Member of the Tail Cutter Guild, a mercenary group dedicated to hunting beings larger than themselves. Oh, so like the, the big worm and stuff. Strider as well. Okay. Be they beast or machine, by no means exceptional, and wise is an average pilot in most regards. His role is simply to distract the enemy briefly while his allies coordinate their strikes, as well as support their retreat if deemed necessary. Regardless, he is joined by his crew at the end of each day to celebrate the hunt, a toast for the wellness of the guild, as every member is crucial for victory. All right. Um, sure, let's go into here and maybe we'll pick one of these guys. Oh, Mine Beta? Oh gosh. Mine Beta might rip him apart. I remember how to play this. I have... I thought I had a whip on this build. I don't have a whip on this build? Ah, okay. Damn, he's rustic as all shit. He's got a moon, moonlight or a redshift. He's also got a flamethrower. He's got aerial missiles on the left. And what is that on his right side? Can't tell from that angle. I wish they would pan around the whole mech when they showed. That'd be nice. I should probably look there first. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's the regular moonlight. Ooh. Man, that was another close match. Good match, though. I thought Mine Beta would have torn him apart faster, but he actually put up a good fight, though. Solid mech. Solid mech. I like the emblem, too. All right, one more. K2 Railway, AC Westward. Deputy Commander of Callan, or Callan, the in-house AC squadron of the Hearest Company. Old Railway, grand, grandpa to the Kalen pilots, spent most of his long career armed with only the twin ducats and his stubborn pride. Over the decades of work, he always paid his debts on time. When he sold himself to Harrist, he was to save another. The augmentation he could handle, but Harris forced him to carry a pair of Proclet pistols as backup, and he never forgave them for that. Hmm. Okay. So the build sounds really interesting. Um, okay, let's just do... Let's do completely random here, too, so... Okay, so that's... Here two, and then let's completely randomize this as well. Void Walker. Void Walker's gonna eat him alive. <laughs> this is one of my best mechs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Railway, but it was randomly chosen for your destiny. <laughs> I feel bad for this dude. Alright, what's he got? Two duckets that he talked about. And he also has two of the 
Coklets too. Nothing too crazy here. Cool looking mech though, I like the look. Main system activating Oh, Void Walker, be kind. This is one of my strongest mechs. <laughs> really playing the long game here trying to stay away from me though I will give him that he's dead yeah he didn't stand a chance sorry but void walker just yeah he's good it's funny how I chose one of my best mechs <laughs> you've closed my eyes even on that Well, dang, I wanted to do more, man. I want, I want another update. This is fun. So Arena E... Oh, okay, cool. So they have more. Ah, oh, sweet. So this keeps going. All right, what time are we at? 31 minutes? Oh, sure. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. And how many could there be? Is there like a full... I wonder if there is... I wonder if it actually does count down to one. All right, let's uh, call this video here. Let's do this as a series. This will be episode one. Um, but then, yeah, we'll take out the next one the next episode. This is fun, though. I really, I'm, re I'm enjoying this. Hope you guys are too. So see you guys next time. More content coming soon.